This is a Women of Honor Tag Team Match. It is set for one ball. Approaching the ring, the team of Taylor Hendricks and Jessica Heaven. laid down the gauntlet for Mandy Leone. She said she has friends too. And tonight we're seeing Jessica Havoc for the first time in Women of Honor. I don't know that Jessica Havoc is necessarily friends with anybody in wrestling. Uh, she's a bit of a loner herself uh, for obvious reasons. An incredibly threatening force, but Taylor has at least found herself a great ally. If these two can coexist, is that always a question? Oh, absolutely. Take it to Bobby Cruz for their opponents. Their opponent, the team of Diana, Perrazzo, and the exotic goddess, Mindy Leone. Now, Veda, you and I were ringside when Diana and Mandy formed sort of a bond at Field of Honor, following the match between Deanna and Taylor. Right, these two had competed against each other before, but I, I guess they developed some sort of professional respect there. Oh, look, Taylor's, yeah, Taylor. Taylor's already trying to get her hands on Mandy. Wasting no time. This runs long and deep for Taylor and Mandy. Of course, if we take things back to Charlotte, I believe it was, these two, Mandy Leone, found a way to defeat Taylor Hendricks. After the match, Taylor snapped. She became unhinged. She attempted to use her Kiss Goodnight DDT onto a chair, something she once again tried to do on Coney Island to Deanna. But again, like we said, unsuccessful. Mandy came to her aid. All right, let's see who starts this off here. Brian Gorey calling for a code of honor. Yeah, I don't know if we'll see that. It seems like Taylor and Jessica are code of honoring each other. Jessica holding back Hendricks here. All right, Brian Gorey already trying to keep order here. And you know, we have great athletes here in Women of Honor. Of course, you can get the very first Women of Honor event live. ROHWrestling.com, you can purchase the VOD or the DVD. On October 29th, Veda, we have the second ever Women of Honor event that will also be in Baltimore. Do you know who I'm wrestling yet? It doesn't matter, oh, it's gonna be give awesome. give me a break. Here we go, Connor Elbow tie-up. Jessica Havoc starting things off, and just, you know, you don't need a, a primer on Jessica Havoc. When she walks into the ring, you feel it. Right, and, uh, I personally, I've, I've competed against Jessica Havoc numerous times in my career. Um, just there's, just, there's just nothing like her uh, in women's professional wrestling. Uh, she's a completely unique entity. Just a mix of, of strength, her size, her just, oh. look at that, just brutality, intimidation. There is just simply nothing like Jessica Havoc. And that sinister laugh just exuded confidence, but here comes Mandy now, coming in with the forearms, the rights, charging in. Oh, oh. not quite. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit more than that to get oh. Jessica off her feet and Taylor, whoa! And Veda, I think this is gonna be the key here tonight for Mandy whoa. to not let Taylor get into her head. And I don't know if a shoulder tackle is a strategy that I would use Ooh. against Jessica Havoc, personally. And uh, it backfired there for Mandy Leon with a little help from Taylor Hendricks. Yeah, can't deny that. Charging in, though. Mandy finds her way out. Big back elbow. Charging in again. Another back elbow. I mean, at, at this point, Mandy has a partner. She, I would like to see Ooh. more frequent tags here. She is being very brave to attempt to take on Jessica Havoc herself. Just think of that cover. Just a one no. count. There's a tag. Here we go, here's a tag into Deanna. Deanna, of course, and Mandy, they kicked off. They reignited Women of Honor a little over a year ago in Baltimore, Maryland. She's in there with Jessica Havoc. Ooh, throws her into the corner. And I think Jessica, I think uh, Deanna was going for that variation of the Fujiwara armbar that we've seen her use frequently. Yeah, she almost put things away against Taylor Hendricks with that. Whoa, that Taylor Island. Legal. Whoa, look at that one. No. 
Deanna, of course, look at this. Hooks the leg, sweet, whoa. Action fast and furious, a lock port drop to hold. Goes up. No, with the camel clutch. No, rolls it over, pinning combination. Close with the ghetto clutch. Deanna is very much in control, but Taylor, Taylor just cut her back down. Oh, hold on. Side rushing like sweet. Wow, this is an incredibly competitive exchange here. And look at that, there's the Fuji oh, there armbar. There it is, Will Taylor tap. Oh, Jessica Havoc knows to get right in there. Whoa, just caught a flying Mandy. Oh. Brian Gorey struggling to keep order here. And now the two setting up Irish whip, perhaps no, reverse. Whoa, hold Whoa. on. Look at this. Forearms connecting. Double team maneuver here of some sort. Yeah, Mandy and uh, Deanna trying to get on the same page. Look at this double flying head scissors. Takes down Jessica and Taylor. Everyone on the outside. Some continuity here from Mandy and Deanna. Mandy setting up Taylor here. Oh, connects with a clothesline. Deanna in the center of the ring now. Off the rope she goes. Going for a dive. Tope got oh. I don't know if she got all of it. Can't tell from our vantage point. Headbutt now from Mandy. Taylor and Mandy both fighting on the outside. Headbutt from Taylor. Deanna back up on the apron. Look at the resilience from Deanna here. Cannonball sent on. Oh, oh hold on. Whoa! Whoa! Jessica Havoc, she still has control. And now, right oh. into the corner. And I don't know if you saw this, Ian, but Mandy Leon just ate the guardrail herself. And Taylor and Jessica. Very much in control here. Absolutely. I don't, you know, you mentioned earlier Taylor and, and, and Jessica Havoc aren't two folks that tend to have friends in professional right. wrestling, but showing signs of being a team here, too. Nope, not enough. Hooks the leg again, one. Two. Now, of course, the women of honor, they will be in action. All-Star Extravaganza weekend, October 1st, Lowell, Massachusetts. We mentioned October 29th, the second ever women of honor uh, spectacular. And Veda, I understand you're heading to Japan. I am. Uh, I won't be at All-Star Extravaganza because uh, I won't be in the country. Um, so I'll be keeping an eye on whatever women of honor action happens then. Of course, I always have my eye on the oh, right in the corner, Brian Gorey, right? And speaking of having your eye on the action, Jessica Havoc providing too much of a distraction for that. Good teamwork there. Not yeah. exactly legal, but good. Good teamwork. Yeah, and on the I same page. It. I will point out that I am currently personally undefeated uh, at Women, Women of Honor exclusive events, so I assume that will trend will continue in yes. October. Yes, one and oh. I'd like to remind our, yes. our viewers. What a record. Jessica Havoc here. Cover oh. one, two. Just a two count. And I think as the match goes on, I think the strength and size advantage for Jessica is going to be the thing that moves the pendulum in the favor of Taylor and Jessica Havoc. Right, and as someone who has studied Jessica Havoc extensively, as I said, I've competed against her. Really, the only chance that you have against her is to be able to wear her down. And at this point, Deanna just hasn't had that opportunity yet. No, and she's, she's more of a technician. She needs right. to kind of set the pace in order for her to be able to hit some of her moves like the Fujiwara armbar to connect with some of the submissions she likes to use. Mandy Leon being told to hold the tag rope. Meanwhile, Taylor choking Deanna in the corner, charging in cartwheel. Oh! However, I will say this. In, Deon in Deanna's favor. It doesn't matter how big you are and how strong you are, your limbs and your joints all work the same way. If Deanna can cinch on one of her submission maneuvers, that could be it for Jessica Havoc. Absolutely. She's, you know, Deanna has shown how dangerous that Fujiwara armbar is. Jessica Havoc arguing with the referee. Yeah, not a good look to, uh, to argue with an official here in Ring of Honor. Oof. Ooh. Brutal kick to the side. Oh, wait just a minute. Once again, Jessica Havoc. Having a conversation. Oh, oh. Charging in. Drive by on Deanna. Taylor legal now. Taylor in the ring. Oh! oh. Is Whoa. that legal? Whoa, drop kick. Uh, Brian Gore, he might not have caught exactly what was going on there. Hooks the leg cover. One, two. No. Whoa. Very close. And you know, we talked about the history between Taylor and Mandy. Taylor and Deanna have a little bit going on too. Right. The very first Women of Honor match, the reboot in Baltimore, Taylor came out to scout that match. Mm -hmm. Back in Coney Island, Field of Honor, Taylor defeated Deanna in a very back and forth hard hitting encounter. So no love lost between them either. Ooh. 
Deanna attempting to fight back here, but Jessica Havoc uh, hit her with a brutal head, but oh, axe kick right to the ribs. Ooh, and now just using that strength advantage, that size advantage to cinch in what from our vantage point looks like a chin lock. Can't yeah. quite tell. She oh, has her by the hair, too. Her by the hair. Referee Brian Gorey just letting these four women fight here tonight. Ooh. And this is just dominance at this point. Deanna's in trouble. Deanna needs to make a tag, Beta. Right, and Taylor and Jessica have done an excellent job of cutting the ring in half, as we often say. Ooh, look at this. Whoa. Cinching in a, a variation of the Moodle Lock here. Oh, but now Mandy. Mandy Leon breaks it up. She's got to get out of the ring, though. Yeah. That is not legal for her to be in the ring. For, you and I very rarely agree, Beta, but frustration setting in. And, and I'm a guy who plays oh. by the rules. Wait. Big jaw jacker. Oh, it's a Gurry. Connects on the top of Taylor the noggin. Taylor staggered. Makes tag. a tag to Mandy. Taylor did not have the opportunity to tag. Ducks a double clothesline, nails a clothesline of her own. Big oh. back elbow. Oh, stunner. stunner. Sends Taylor There's a staggering. Tag. And here comes Jessica. Ducks a clothesline. Mandy coming up with the forearms. Firing up on Jessica Havoc. Oh, but caught in her tracks. Going for that patented jump bomb. Oh. Deanna says no. Going right to the legs, and maybe this is the strategy they should have used the entire match, Beta. They have Jessica staggering. Right. Can they take her down? Here comes Deanna. Oh, big, big knee lift. Here we go. The wheelbarrow into the bulldog, baby. Here yeah. it is. Shouldn't she make a cover? No, she's not going for a cover. No, she might be looking for the layout. So wait just a minute. Taylor Hendricks is entering the ring. Taylor's got a chair. Taylor has a chair. Oh! Jammed it into the small of the back for Mandy Leone. Right in the lower back. Oh, no. This could be it, Veda. Beautiful oh. disaster. Hooks the leg one, two, and that's it. We'll send it to Bobby Cruz for your winner. The winners of the match, the team of Taylor Hendricks and Jessica Heaven. What a Women of Honor tag team bout here in Lockport. In her Women of Honor debut, Jessica Havoc victorious with Taylor Hendricks. Huge win for Jessica Havoc with her variation on the air raid crash. Absolutely devastating maneuver. I have a feeling this isn't the last we'll see of Jessica Havoc, and it's definitely the last, we will, not the last we will see of Mandy Leone and Taylor Hendricks. No, and of course, all-star extravaganza weekend. October 1st, more Women of Honor action. October 29th, the second Women of Honor event. And we will be sure to see some of these women live in a living color, but for here in Lockport, Brian Gordon, you gotta get control of this. Here in Lockport, I'm Ian Riccoboni for Beta Scott. We'll see you next time on Women of Honor Wednesday.